congregant of Habata Poway is reflecting on what happened one year ago and pushing forward with a message of hope here. Stella joins us now with his powerful words. Stella. Good morning to you, Eric. Yeah, I spoke to Fred Nassari oh, over the weekend. We chatted. He has been a member of Habata Poway for more than 20 years. He says it was the last day of Passover. As you mentioned, he was supposed to be inside, but he was running late because he took a phone call. So he was supposed to be there right when that shooting started. He describes what happened when he got there and found out that his friend, his good friend, Lori Kay, was shot. Listen. When you rush in there and you see that front back, your heart comes out. You, do, you deny, you just say, no, it can't be. I never forget that moment. I never forget the cold rush, the cold thing that ran through my body. Nasseri tells me Lori's family is still trying to heal from this. He also shared a message of hope. Listen. We need to tell the world and tell everybody else a year later, a life was lost, tragically. A family is hurt. A community, a community is scarred for life. Let's learn from it and make it a better life. Make it a better, let's, let's make something evil and change it to something good. As for Rabbi Israel Goldstein, who was shot, he lost his finger in the shooting. He retired seven months after the incident. Now, Goldstein founded the synagogue in 1996. His son, Rabbi Mendel Goldstein, has now taken over. And Eric, uh, as I was talking to Nasseri, he also tells me when this tragedy did happen, the community of Poway, San Diego, yeah. came together in such an amazing way. He it said amazing. it did not matter what religion you were. It was amazing to see so many people come together. And uh, it was it was incredible.